Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back. It's Dion with the Blushing Mint. So today I am popping in here to do a quick, quick crafting chat with you guys. Um, and another one of our days in the um, 100 Day Project, the global art movement that happens online where you do an art project day every day for 100 days and you share it with your friends. So anyway, today's project is going to be a quick, easy little, um, little pocket and it is four pockets from one book page. And um, I did this, I've done this kind of thing previously um, and I guess I didn't think a whole lot of it, but um, I saw Margaret at um, Seven Plaza. She has a YouTube um, channel, and it's Seven Plaza, and her name is Margaret. And um, she did one of these, and it just reminded me, oh my gosh, how simple, quick, and easy, and it's one book page. And you'll see that the size of your pocket can vary by the size of the book page. So yeah, so you actually have four pockets here. You've got one, two, three, four, and depending upon how you put it in your book, in your journal, you can just um, glue the three sides here and have another pocket behind, or you can glue here and have a tuck and a pocket behind. So this is a super versatile um, little pro little pocket project and I thought I'd show you how quick and easy it is to put them together and then we'll decorate a couple as well so here you go super simple I've got a couple different sized book pages so um, the first thing you do is you just bring your book page up and you want to bring it to where your two points are similarly the same size and you crease it there Guys, this is, this is complex, I'm telling you. And then you fold your bottom over here, even with the bottom here. Not a very good fold there, Dion, but, you know, crease it here. And then this next one you fold over until basically you have about the same distance between here and here as you do here and here. So this needs to come over just a bit more. Make sure again that you are square with the bottom of your page. Fold that and voila, you tuck this side into here. All you need is a book page and some glue and you glue the bottom edge here and just like so you've got four pockets from one book page this is this is just crazy easy I'll do another one of these here so so you're Little peaks are about the same width, same, or same height, I'm sorry. Fold your bottom over. And your other bottom. Over. And I didn't quite get that enough, so I'm going to fold this one more time because I didn't. Because you want to make sure you have enough room for this left flap to tuck into the right flap. And a simple bead of glue. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'll show you a larger one. I'm going to do a um, piece of music paper. Here. And 
I don't think I spaced these out as evenly as I could have. But you know what? Honestly, it really doesn't matter. Um, it truly, really doesn't. I actually kind of like the varying angles here, varying lengths. So, listen, how easy was that? Four plus tuck spots from one single page of paper. And my glue hates me. It's Wednesday. Why wouldn't it, right? So yeah, there you go. Simple, quick, easy. Four pockets from one paper. I love it. So let's do um, a quick, some quick decorating here. Um, so one of the things that you can do super easy, um, just because I like to have my pockets and whatnot a little bit more defined. Um, and so I'm just going to take some quick ink here. And you can actually do this. It's probably better if you do it before you fold your paper, but you know. Why? Why do anything the easy way, right? Like, why? That just doesn't make any sense. Who does that? Who does things the easy way? Not me. Not me. I'm from the Not Me Club. And that is okay. So yeah, so there you can just see a little extra definition. But if you want to add even more definition to um, those pockets, let's see what I have hiding back here by way of some little thin washi tapes. Um, I kind of like this little green one here. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. Easier said than done, people. Easier said than done. You know, because why? Why make anything easy? There we go. Okay. So these are just some washies that I've gotten off of, gosh, I think a long time ago off of ish. Ish. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling kind of ish today too. Just saying. Oh my lord, I got these off of Wish. Just a little bit of ish. Oh golly geez. I'm telling you, friends. If it wasn't for a hot mess, I don't know what kind of a mess I'd be. So, um, one of the things you could do is you can just take this washi tape right up to that very edge. Not over, because you don't want to seal the pocket. And then, underneath. Now, I can see that my um, washi tape doesn't want to stick too well. That's another product of... Um, buying products off of something like Wish or whatnot. You just never really know the how well the product is going to hold up. But that's okay because a little dab of glue will just take care of all that. So I'm just going to line this up here with a little dab of glue. And then, um, but yeah, you want to go underneath that, that first pocket. And then right along the edge of these others. And then you can just fold the rest of that back across there. And there's one pocket. And then we'll do another quick pocket. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my bead of glue on there. So then it's already there for me.
And with this music paper, it doesn't require a whole lot of decoration, but you know, um, I do have a journal that I need to get finished up here. So these will work for that. <coughs> Sorry, friends, I'm still fighting this blasted. I don't even know what it is. I literally don't know what it is, but I'm very much so over it. I'm not over it, but I'm definitely over over it. And then we're going to have another one coming out here. Yeah, I don't know what this stuff is, but man, it is lingering forever and a day. I tell you, forever and a day. Gosh, I somehow I feel like I ended up with five pockets out of this one. I don't know what is happening. I don't even know what's happening, friends. It's just that kind of a thing. It's just that good of a pocket. It's magical. I tell you, this is a magical book page pocket. That's what I need to call this. Because I just don't know. Pockets just magically are appearing here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line this one too. Yeah, why not? Why not? One, two, three. Oh, duh, Dion. Do you want to know why? Because this is really the fourth pocket. I was counting this as the fifth. Never mind. You know what? Y'all just, y'all just do your thing. You can sit there and laugh at me as much as you'd like. I'm telling you, I'm just going to call it whatever this is brain because, uh-huh. Clearly not thinking straight in my world. No straight thinking here. <clears throat> so anyway, I love how lining these pockets, outlining them, so to speak, really um, is changing the look of it already. Sorry, my head might be in the camera, but I got to get up close and personal with my projects. Oh my gosh, come on. That's like almost enough for me, but it's not enough. I mean, hello, it's not enough. Like I have this blank spot here, which I kind of like. I'm not even going to lie. I do kind of actually like that blank, but I feel like maybe here, let's add, let's add some little embellishing. Let's, embe let's embellish friends. Shall we embellish? Come along with me as we embellish. Because embellishing never hurt anyone. Ooh, I love this. Oh, yes. I love this down here. Down here. Up here. Somewhere. I love that. I love that there. Okay. What else do I got in here that I could love? What could I love? I love all the things. All the things are lovely. Lovely, lovely. Let's rip this. Because we can put this here. Yes. Yes, friends. Little things. Little things come together. It's the little, little things. So anyway, geez, I got right into my little project. Didn't say hello, hello, and thank you to everyone who has subscribed for all your fabulous kind comments and um, for hanging out with me during my little videos and um, also thank you to everybody who's subscribing and sharing and all of those other great things that I have asked from you and y'all are delivering because you're sweet and I'm so thankful 
Um, so yeah, thank you. How is everyone? So tell me, are any of you um, participating in this 100 day project? Is anybody else doing these with me? Share, tell me, tell me what you're doing. I'd love to see your projects. I'd love, love, love to see what you've got going on. I just, I think this is so fun. It's kind of pushing me to, <clears throat> one, find um, simple, quick, quick projects because quite frankly, I don't, I mean, yes, I have all the time in the world, but quite frankly, technology and I are not friends. And so trying to video and whatnot, these projects has been a bit of a challenge for me. And so, um, oh, I'm just, I'm liking some of this stuff here. And so, um, you know, it might be a quick project, but it like is literally taking me like my whole day. And so finding some simple, quick projects to do that I can video and still have time to upload the videos and work on them and things like that, um, that has, that has forced me to look at, um, to find some different projects than what I would normally do. And so I think I'm enjoying that part of the 100 day project that it is making it, making me have to look for some short, simple um, ideas to share with you guys. So, um, but I would love to see what you're doing. If you're a quilter and you're doing some quilt squares or um, I don't know. I don't know what all projects y'all do. So, um, I'd love to, I'd love to see what you're creating. I'd love to see it. Um, I'm going to get some flowers. And I got some flowers and then I got this cute little bit bin here that has a little bit of everything in it. That I could possibly pull some things from. And so, yeah, so anyway, what is new in what is new in my world? Absolutely nothing, guys. Like, really. I don't I don't know if anything's new. My dad got home. My dad got to his home home. So that is great. Um, so he is now um, at home. I'm actually going to drive over to White Sulphur tomorrow and take him to... Billings to the doctor and then I'm going to come home and so that is going to be a full day's drive for me because I'm leaving from Livingston to White Sulphur to Billings back to White Sulphur back to Livingston so that's a good day's that's a good day's driving for me and um Oh, I kind of like that, except maybe, and then, um, and so anyway, so we're going to do that. Oh, there we go. Love. Okay. Um, and then, um, let's see, and then I'm coming back home and we are going to, go to our cabin in Island Park for the weekend. And our neighbors are getting married, so we're going to go up there for that. And um, not our neighbors here. Our neighbors at the cabin are getting married. Um, and so, yeah, so we're going to go
Oh, I'm kind of, sorry, I'm looking at my camera trying to decide what I think, but I kind of like that. And then I will, I'm going to use my little deco edge scissors here. I know I have a pair. Or I thought I had a pair. Here they are. Try to mostly imitate that shape. Yeah, I kind of like it. Okay, so I'm going to go with it. I'm going with it. I'm just going to go with it, friends. Okay, so I'm going to start down here in my lower corner and set this aside for you. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to go to the cabin. I've got to... Uh, um, come up with a couple quick projects that I can maybe take with me to the cabin. But then again, I might not take any projects, so to speak. I actually think that I may, I've been working in the background on a digital scrapbook or a digital journal kit that, um, Gosh, I'm almost afraid to even say that out loud, out loud because it's like, oh my gosh, it's scary. Um, but anyway, I'm working on a digital scrapbook kit. I'm doing the graphics for it. And so I may just continue to work on it at the cabin. And um, the only problem is, is I don't have a printer down there. And I need to like print and see what I think of it but we'll see we'll see who knows who knows I don't even know if I want to say that out loud because you know and maybe it will be for my shop maybe it will just be for my own personal use I don't really know I don't really know what I'm thinking about it right now it's just in the background of my brain in the background of my brain I'm working on that and let's see what else. So yeah, so I need to come up with something I can take to the cabin, some kind of project or another that I can do while I am there. Because I'm not going to the wedding per se. I think I had told you previously, the wedding is actually on snowmobiles and snow bikes up in the mountains of Island Park. And if you've never been to Island Park, it's absolutely beautiful. And they get a ton, we get a ton, ton, ton of snow there, like tons. And um, I am not going to the actual wedding on snow bikes. But um, now that I pulled that one out, I feel like maybe I want a different flower cluster there. I don't know if that's my favorite. Or do I want a butterfly? I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell, friends. It's hard to tell, hard to tell. I liked all the color, but something about it said maybe not quite perfect. Oh, but see, so then I have, this is like a Calancho and this is like a, I don't know. It's, it's some, I should know, you know, having been in the flower business forever, I should know, but Anyway, I kind of like that one better. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. 
so anyway yeah i am not going up in the mountain on snow bikes and sleds it's just not my not my not my game so um i will have a little extra craft time during the winning portion of things so i am gonna do that and then yeah and then next week is another week and oh my gosh can you guys believe we are in march what the heck happened i you know i literally don't understand time i don't and i know they say time flies when you're having fun um and the older you get the faster time flies um, I don't want to admit that I'm getting older. I just refuse. Um, and I mean, sometimes I have fun. Sometimes I have fun, but I feel like time is going so fast. There almost isn't like, I don't know. It goes so fast. I don't, I feel like we don't even have time to have fun because the next thing you know, it's like, oh, we're on to another month and another this project and another and with our business everything picks up so much in the spring and the summer and um so we don't really have time to go and do things in spring and summer and then it's like the winter just flies by and i don't know it's just it's crazy to me it's just it's crazy to me how fast time seems to just just go by and boom it's gone it's just gone just gone friends i don't know so anyway so yeah so i'm just inking up these edges a little bit here and i'm using my tea stained um or my tea dye ink pad um just to give it a little bit of extra dimension on you know so you can see that layering and the effect there And then just a little bit of glue and I really should put the lid back on my glue every time I use it. But, you know, yeah, that would be like, that would be efficient. And then it would probably work every time and then I wouldn't have anything to complain about. So, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, and then we're going to take... Yeah, so, so yeah, I don't know what my next week is going to be filled with. I know I've got some days that I'm in Billings with my daughter. Got to get my nails done. They're looking a little raggy, not going to lie. My nails are needing a little, needing a little TLC. So... Gotta get my nails done, and I do those in Billings. And um, gotta get pedicure because tis the season. And yeah, I gotta take my dog to the vet next week. He needs a he needs a vaccination of some random sort or another. And then um, yeah, that's. So my week, next week, look, I got two days in Billings, my dog at the vet, so I'll see, I'm already, it's just already, there's just things, just things. So yeah, so anyway, but no, this is just a, sorry, my phone's going off, super quick project, um, and I just love all the pockets that, can be created from this simple little, one simple little book page, it's just, it's, kind of insane that 
all that out of one book page. So let me show you. Oh, I'm going to ink all my edges here. Um, just do a quick ink around all my edges. Just a little extra definition there. Okay, I like it. And so then let me show you in a journal. Now this is a journal I'm just um, fixing to get finished here. I'm loving this journal. I don't know why that doesn't want to come across well. There we go. And this is a leather, um, a leather cover. And so let me show you how I would put this into a journal per se. Um, so if this is my journal page, um, I could actually just glue it right onto the page here. Actually, this looks so good on this page. It's not even funny. Ah, I might actually end up having to use that. What the heck? And so I could glue it flat to my page, and then that would give me the one, two, three, four pockets here, okay? Or I could glue it here and here, so across this side and the bottom, and it could also be a tuck, so then I could tuck some things back behind it, one, two, three, four pockets. Or I could glue all three sides here and leave the back open, and then I'd have a pocket, a pocket, a pocket, a pocket, a pocket. So, super, super versatile use for one book page, three or four, five or more pockets, and um, a little bit of embellishment, and boom, there you have it. So, thank you so much, friends, for joining me on this quick craft and chat and another uh, project done in our 100-day project. I hope that... Um, you will continue to follow along with me in this 100 day, um, 100 day project and that if you like the content that you see and if you have any friends or family that you think might benefit or enjoy seeing some of my tutorials um, that you'll share and um, ask them to subscribe to my channel as well. So thank you so much you guys. I so appreciate every time that you join me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, be well, have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.